Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Morius and I create art tutorials that are fun, easy and accessible for everyone. Today we're going to be doing these juicy red grapes in Ohuhu markers and polychromos color pencils. There's a couple of things to remember when you're working with alcohol markers and the first thing is you want to swatch out all of your markers ahead of time because the way that the marker dries on the paper is different from the way that it looks on the tip of the marker and the way it looks when it first goes down. So that's number one. Number two is you want to make sure you're using the correct paper. If you're just using cheap printer paper or something that has a lot of uh, cotton content in it, the markers can bleed out and you won't get a crisp, clean, clear effect. So you want to make sure you have a heavyweight paper, something heavy enough to handle the uh, alcohol going through the paper, um, and this is extremely important. So I'm using a Strathmore 400 series Bristol paper, which is a nice heavyweight, and it can handle all the layers of marker and the layers of color pencil on top of that. It's got a nice smooth finish, so you're going to get a nice hyper-realistic effect when your drawing is done. The beauty of using alcohol markers and color pencils together is that your color pencils can give you all of the detail that you're looking for, yet the marker can get down a lot of color really quickly uh, to get a nice base layer going down so none of the white of the paper is going to show through. And these polychromos color pencils blend seamlessly over top of the alcohol marker. So you're not ruining the tooth of the paper, but you're covering all of those white little grainy specks of the paper with the marker. And then we're gonna go in with our heavy detail with our color pencils. So you'll see, I'm gonna switch off between my markers and my color pencils. And we're just gonna build up all of those shadows in between those grapes um, so that we get a nice deep dark shadow in there. And we're gonna start to form each grape to give it the depth and the three dimensional aspect um, with the marker and the color pencil. Every drawing looks better when you put multiple layers of either color pencil, marker, whatever it may be. The more layers, the better it's gonna look. So if you notice, I put down this light lavender color in the beginning of my drawing, and that's gonna kind of represent that um, cloudy or chalky kind of uh, look of the grape um, that, that uh, looks kind of whitish. Um, I put down that purple color to represent that kind of um, film that's on the skin of the grape. Try experimenting with different things. So blue and red make purple and our grapes are kind of a purpley reddish color. So if you go in with a deep dark navy instead of a black in between those grapes, you're going to get a nice deep rich shadow. So try experimenting with different things. Rather than using black, try some other um, colors that will just accentuate your drawing without putting that black in and making it um, glaringly obvious that it's black in between there. So the dark, deep navy color will um, give us the shadow, uh, more dramatic shadow that we are looking for to define each of those grapes. So I'm going to alternate between my pink pencil, my reds, and my maroons. And I'm still going in and I'm alternating between those um, markers and color pencil. Now I'm going to put in a shadow underneath these grapes with some charcoal pencil. And then I'm going to go in um, afterwards with a cotton bud or a Q-tip. And I'm going to smush out and, and uh, smudge that shadow to give us more of a realistic effect. I always swatch out all of my colors on a separate piece of paper before I start the drawing. Um, if you're a beginner, you can take it one grape at a time. I tend to put uh, the color where I see it while I have it in my hand. I go in wherever I think that I need that color and I go over the whole drawing. But you can take it one grape at a time if that makes it easier for you to handle the drawing. Um, but I do like to put um, that wherever it is once it's in my hand. 
Now you can see we've built up a lot of layers here and we're going to keep going. Um, and I'm alternating between the purples and the reds. And you can see that we're starting to get some nice form around these grapes. And we're just going to keep building on that. So like I said, the more layers, the better. I'm putting in a little bit of a jelly roll pen to um, just kind of map out where my uh, water droplets are going to be on the grapes. Um, we're going to go and glaze over this uh, white jelly roll pen with some more colored pencil. Um, and you could save that stage to the end, but I kind of like to map those in ahead of time so that I know where I'm going with all my shadows and my colors. Um, but you can wait till the last stage if you need to um, for that, but um, it's helpful sometimes to put a little bit of uh, that jelly roll in just so you can see um, where those droplets are going to be. I'm using my white color pencil now and I'm going over the top and basically what that white pencil is doing is it's keeping that um, kind of milky, chalky uh, look to the grape, but it's also smushing all those underneath layers of color pencil together. So it's giving me um, a good blend. And then I'm going to go back in with some reds and we're just going to keep building on all of our tones. You want to make sure that you have um, your deep dark shadow. You want to make sure you have your midtones, and then you're going to pop your highlights um, as you go along or you can pop them at the end. But we're just going to keep going in and we're going to make our shadow areas even darker. So you're just checking your values at this point and you want to make sure you represent all of your values. So the color is not as important as your value choices. So um, you could make these grapes purple, blue, green, whatever, as long as your values are correct, you're going to have a nice believable drawing in the end. So your your colors do not have to be perfect to your reference image, um, but as long as your values are correct, you will have a really nice drawing in the end. So I'm going back into my shadow with my um, Q-tip, and I'm kind of smushing out where I put that uh, charcoal pencil. It gives you a really nice soft shadow as long as you blend it out um, really nicely with that cotton bud. So, and we're gonna um, make that a little bit darker as we go along. But you can see now that the grapes are kind of grounded on the surface that they're sitting on with that shadow. And we'll, we'll, we'll deepen that up a little bit uh, later as we go along. Now I'm working on my water droplets and I'm going back in with the jelly roll and then we're going to go back in with our dark um, red colored pencil and we're going to accentuate around those bright uh, white highlights. I have over 130 videos for you guys to check out. Uh, most of them are tutorials, so feel free to go and check out some of my other work. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I love hearing from each and every one of you. And I want to thank you so much for joining me and happy art.